Hi guys, uh, this is another another tutorial from Shafni TV. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Do subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, today we're going to have a look at After Effects, how we can stick uh, text to the ground and then make it stabilize while the camera is moving. We're going to use 3D Motion Tracker in After Effects. It's pretty straightforward and it's very simple. So let's get it started, guys. So to get it started, I've already opened the After uh, Adobe After Effects, and there's two options here. You can see there's new composition here, and also on this, there is new composition from footage. So we're gonna open new composition from footage, and then I'm gonna try and select my video that I'm gonna work with. I also will put this video link on the description below, so you can download it and work it and see whether it works for you as well. So I've downloaded the video and also imported to my uh, After Effects and I'm going to drag this file all the way down to my timeline. Yeah, it's all good. So this is just, uh, this is the video footage. Let me play the video. That's the short footage that I uh, have on my After Effects today. You can download this uh, from my description below and use the same setting that I teach you today and then see whether it works for you as well. So to get it started guys, I'm going to go to window button here and then click on tracker. If you don't have this tracker here, you can go to window and then just find tracker and then click tracker. And then to come out to your right side, your tracker bar, tracker window. All you got to do is pretty, pretty, pretty easy. Just click track camera, and then it's going to analyze the background, and it's going to analyze what's happening now. Is it's analyzing the camera movements in in the in the video footage. So let's wait for a while, and then let's see uh, what's the result. You can see here. It's analyzing all the frames by frames. It's, it's got 179 frames and it's analyzing all the frames and tracking the camera movement. <clears throat> this is a lovely uh, thing that you can do when you're doing a video intro. Sorry guys, I was getting called from my friend. So this is a nice intro uh, uh, intro effect or you can use it for intro or, or whatever you like. If you know how to get it done uh, very easily. Oh good. So it's analyzed all the camera movements and it has given you a lot of points. So we're going to try and find out a flat place where we can place this placed my red uh, red disc so I'm going to find a place where I can place my red disc somewhere a flat a flat place so let me find it so I think that would be a good place to uh, keep my red disc there because it's a very flat there so I'm just gonna click that one there and then right click create text and camera just click create text and camera and then I'm going to go and take my text tool from here and then and I'm going to delete that one and I'm going to put here sharp such a sharp me face TV so sharp me TV and then you can see in the timeline it's already created a 3d tracking camera so I'm going to go and take my text and then click transform and if the text is too big as you can see I'm going to reduce the size of the text by scaling down my text scaling down all the way down all the way down it's too big I don't like it I think that should be fine and I'm going to adjust the orientation as well I'm going to make it a bit 
light brown on there, so it looks good. And then also position it a bit on my left. And then uh, you can play around and make sure it fits the footage. And then also use some wide rotation. It's these all the settings are on the transform, so you can just adjust this and make sure it stays uh, flat on the ground. So especially with the position, yeah, this should be good. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, this is not bad. So if you want to change the color of the text, you can come on to your right, click, and change the color as you like from here. So just highlight the text, come here, change the color of the text. And let's render and see how the video looks. The video looks pretty decent. So that's the easiest way just to uh, place the text on the ground. And that's pretty much it is. And thank you so much guys for watching and do subscribe and I'll see you guys on another tutorial.